So this video will serve as an introduction to anybody who wants to use Node-RED as a graphical user interface for the RTL underscore 433, very powerful bit of software that's available uh, to download. This video will include, or the link to it will include a flow, a Node-RED flow that you can download and install into any Node-RED installation, just to give you maybe a little bit of a head start, particularly if you've not used Node-RED much before. Node-RED is an exceptionally useful and powerful system for building quite powerful applications, um, something I've been using now for a couple of years, um, and is actually quite easy to teach yourself. So certainly something you can, um, you can start just by using internet searching, particularly YouTube. My name is Neil, I call sign Golf 2 Delta Juliet Mike, and I just wanted to explain a little bit about the, the setup that I'm using here. So in my setup, I've got a Raspberry Pi 400, um, which has in it the um, pre-installed SD card with the ham radio libraries, which I'll show you the link to later, linked to um, an MSI low-cost SDR receiver here, um, which is one of the Chinese clones of the excellent SDR play systems. This is one I bought before I bought the, uh, S, uh, the RSP VX. Um, the starting point for this video really is um, a couple of places here. One of them is Andreas, Andreas Spicer's excellent uh, second YouTube channel, HB9BLA, where he details here how to create um, a Raspberry Pi image, um, which gives you all of the really good hand software um, on an SD card that you can then put into your Raspberry Pi, and it will give you um, a, very, a very powerful um, system like this, which includes actually the RTL 433 libraries. So all that is pre-installed. What's not pre-installed on this is the is Node-RED. Um, so, but Node-RED installation is extremely easy. I'm not going to go into that here. You can YouTube, Google that, um, and find how to install Node-RED really, really simply indeed. So that's the first starting point. The second point um, to, to read or to watch really before going through this video is to look at the, the TechMinds uh, video on how to decode 433 megs uh, devices use, using an RTL SDR receiver. This excellent video from Matt at TechMinds um, covers all of the necessary steps in how to install and load up RTL 433. And RTL 433 is a command line interface which runs in Unix and other operating systems as well and gives you um, a way of determining and seeing what, what available um, 433 um, ISM band sort of uh, available free signals are around you. But the RTL 433 system um, delivers everything in a command line and so the reason for uh, writing the Node-RED interface really is because um, with, with Node-RED, and this is the flow that I'm going to talk through today, with Node-RED, you can quite simply take the output from the RTL433, which will be encoded in MQTT um, format anyway, or can be, um, and take that into, an, into a Node-RED flow where you can do all sorts of interesting things with it. So that's the bit I will describe in the next part of this video. So the requirement for using this Node-RED flow will be that you've got some form of RTL 433 hardware running. Um, and the one, as mentioned before, is the MSI that I have here. The other criteria will be that you've got um, Node-RED installed on the server machine, which in this case is the Raspberry Pi 400. And in addition to that, or concurrent with that, you also need Mosquito um, to be installed. So Mosquito handles the, the flow of the JSON messages um, to, to Node-RED or from RTL 433 to, to Node-RED. So once you've got those things installed on your system, um, what you will then have is a, a flow. If you download the flow in the description, you'll see the flow here. Um, so this is what the, the actual flow looks like. It's not, not particularly complicated. Um, what the flow actually does is um, shown in, in, this video, in this window here. Um, so basically, the point of this was to take the 
command line output from RTL underscore 433 and to put it in a little bit more user-friendly view. Um, so this just runs in Chrome. I've just topped, uh, cropped the window so you don't see the Chrome stuff um, on the top. But basically, this is just a Chrome window. So here you've got um, three tabs, RTL status, um, a tire pressure monitoring uh, system window, um, and an other signals window. So the status window is really simple. Um, its job is you click the button here, which starts the script, which runs the RTL underscore 433 uh, shell script on your server machine. Um, it will show you the output from the command line script in this window here, and will also show you the, the last signal captured, in which, in this particular example, is from a Schrader a tire pressure monitoring system. Um, what, I'm also, what I've also done is to, to graph the frequencies which are picked up as the RTL433 system picks up these pretty random uh, signals from the local environment. And here's another one just arrived. This last one um, is a Ford TPMS uh, measurement. And what you may find, if it's anything like where I've got my antenna, it's an indoor antenna at the moment, um, you might not see much more than tire pressure monitoring systems. There's a lot of those around, which is why I created a tab specific to that. Um, not that it's particularly useful, um, but it shows you what you can do with Node Red. So these are all of the um, tire pressure monitoring system uh, signals that the RTL four three three software has picked up, and it puts it down into a, into a nice nice tabular form here. You can see that there are thirty four unique devices have been picked up. Um, since this it was this was started, um, this Node Red instance was started, and there are five unique models: so Ford, Schrader, Renault, Toyota, and um, some other stuff down here. So and a bath. Um, what I've also done is to graph the pressure from all of these TPMS systems. Um, again, for just because you can, more than because it's useful. Um, just to see how that looks and the the temperature which is recorded from these TPMS systems and one thing to note is that both the pressure and the TPM and the pressure and the temperature signals coming from a lot of these tire pressure monitoring systems are pretty much garbage but again it's it's a exercise in what you can do with the data uh, using node red more than um, a useful um, environmental monitor so that's the tire pressure monitoring system tab. And this one is the other signals tab, which actually at the moment, it hasn't picked up anything other than um, tire pressure monitoring systems. So this would otherwise populate with a table of other things that it finds in the local environment. So basically just three relatively simple, straightforward tabs that you can use to, to control the RTL 433. Now, I've only got it set here where it's tire pressure or other at the moment. So if it's tire pressure signal, if a tire pressure signal comes through, then basically it does the stuff in the flows in this section here. If it sees anything else, it's on the other tab, which is which is this this stuff here. So that's the, the basis of the flow. Um, if you're not familiar with Node Red at all, this probably won't mean a great deal to you. But if you are a little bit familiar with it, it maybe will, again, form a starting point to using to using the RTL 433. So the first point is to start the RTL 433 script. And that's done simply by using the exec command, which is here in, in Node Red. So you just drag an exec, exec command button up and you basically make it do what you want it to do. In this case, it's to start the RTL um, software. And to start it, importantly, um, by providing all the output through in, in MQTT. And it provides it to MQTT, in my case here, in absolutely default, no passwords or username set, goes straight to the root host, and that's all it does. So that's the line, that's the text that you would otherwise paste into your Raspberry Pi and to start the RTL433 software running. Once you've done that, any output from that will then display in the um, in the window I've already shown. Um, and then this is now your MQTT um, input. So this this comes from uh, from the MQTT function built into Node Red. 
Um, and then it, literally the first thing it does is it will basically say, is it a tire pressure monitoring system or is it not? And if it isn't, it'll do the stuff under here. And if it's a TPMS, it'll do this stuff. So is it a TPMS? Yes. Then you have to trim out some of the other parts of the messages. Uh, in my case, I've also chosen to convert the output from kilopascals to PSI because it's kind of easier to see on uh, for me who's used to pumping up tires rather than dealing with it in, in proper SI units. Um, and then you basically output the pressure into a, to a value here. Um, so what I've done in in this node red instance is that I've also, as well as the standard node red stuff, I've also installed some very useful um, uh, plugins, some palette entries. One of them is the convert module, which is this one here, um, which is allows you to convert from kilopascals to PSI really, really easily. Um, not that that wouldn't be a difficult calculation. Um, the other one that I've installed that's very good is the node red UI table, this one at the bottom here. That's an exceptionally powerful table. Um, and that is what drives um, all the information that goes into this. So this, this table here, this table format, um, is, is really good actually, um, particularly in the instance on the TPMS, where you've got all the all the information that stores it all. You can, you know, you can filter by unique ID, you can filter by um, by ridiculous pressures or, or whatever. Um, or, and similarly for temperatures as well. So you can see, as I said, um, some of these TPMSs are, are pretty pretty poor at reporting outside temperatures because I can tell you it's not minus 49 degrees C. Um, so that's that's the, the 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 palette entries you will need to install. So if you if you if you download this uh, flow, what you will what you will find is if you install it into a vanilla instance of Node Red, it will say that some of the things are not able to be linked because you haven't got the relevant palette entries. So you'll need to install these palette entries as well. Um, not all of these. I'm I'm not using Ping. I'm not using Smooth. I'm not using UI List, and I'm not using the GPIO. Um, instances here. Uh, I am using dashboard, you need that. Um, obviously you need node red and you need this convert one and the table one at the bottom. So assuming you've got all of those installed in, into node red, then this will just work. Um, and the, the there are some interesting bits in here. There's some parts of the, the flow um, where I had to Google um, quite extensively to try and find a way to um, count the number of unique models, for example. And I, I can take no credit for, for this bit of code here. This came from St uh, Stack Overflow, and I've linked it here, as you can see. There's probably other places in this flow where um, it's the result of much uh, Google searching for bits of nice code. And if there is, uh, and it's not um, linked appropriately, then I apologize to the authors for that. And if anybody, anybody has any comments on that, I can add those to the uh, to the description of the video later. So anyway, um, hopefully that explains a little bit about about what the flow does. Um, it's uh, something that I'll probably add to later as as time goes on. But at the moment, since all I can really see around me are these TPMS monitors, it's not that interesting. Um, so. Monitoring this for long periods of time really doesn't doesn't tell you anything. Um, but as I say, um, if with a decent antenna, with an outdoor antenna, um, given a longer time scale, um, you will see a lot of other signals as well in here. Um, but for now, I think that's probably enough for this bit of the video. Um, and if there are any questions, put them in the comments beneath. And uh, thanks very much for your time.